so this is a short tutorial on how to get League of Legends models out of the game into Unreal, uh, including one animation. So we're gonna start with Obsidian, uh, it's a tool, I will link it in the description. And then we're gonna navigate to our League of Legends folder, Game, Data, Final, Champions. And then open one of the what files. Let's start with any. And then we need to extract it to a folder. In this case I'm going to extract it to my desktop extraction folder. Now that is done, we're going back to the tools. We're going to make a model file for it. So we're going to go to our extractions, we're going to go to skins, we're going to go for the base one, open the skeleton, offer a, open the mesh, let's include an animation, and let's do the idle animation converted, and then open up Cinema 4D. Uh, I don't know on which versions this will work. I didn't got it to work in the light version, uh, but on this older version I have it will work. Or at least it works for me. And we're gonna open the file that's exported to the skin slash base folder. Make sure to include animation. Let's check if the animation is playing. And the only thing we do in Cinema 4D is exported as a FBX. Make sure it's set to that. Uh, make sure it's set to 7.4 and not 7.5. Blender will not take that, or at least 2.8. Blender will not take that. We don't need to save it, we didn't change anything, we just made a new export to a FBX blender. Let's remove the cube and import the just created file. And zoom out. So here you see it is the model. And it will play the animation. But the timeline is too long so here we can see it's 91 frames, so let's change the end to 91 frames. Alright, now let's apply some the textures. So, we select any in the shading tab, we remove the normal map, we don't need it. Or at least you can if you want to do something special with the model, but this is just keeping it basic. We're going to the assets and we're going to the skins folder, the base folder, and we're gonna open the one that doesn't say two times or four times. We're gonna open the one that is the highest in size. So here we have it. Texturized any let's turn off the specular because in lol it doesn't do that so to make it work in unreal we need to make sure that there's only one root bone so we're gonna add one bone in edit mode the dummy one select the last one ctrl p and keep offset Make sure to double check if the animation still works. Let's first save it, of course. If we need it later, we're also going to save the texture as a tar file and 
and then we're gonna export it. Again, as a FPX, and we're just gonna override it. We don't need the old one anymore, and we don't save because we already saved before. So let's open Unreal. Just with a simple test environment, a blank space. And let's create a folder. I'm gonna import both those files. Make sure animation is checked. Uh, I already imported before, so we're just gonna say yes to all. It will give loads of errors. If you want to look into to, into it, you can. But if we now gonna drag the animation into the engine, let's just put it somewhere nice, play it, and there we see that any is in Unreal Engine with the actual texture and animation. The only thing is that you have to do some tweaks to the texture if you want to. So in my case I don't want to have the reflection, so I hold 1 and click to get a value and set the value to 0. Save it. Only after saving it will apply, or if you hit apply, it will apply to the model in the game. Now she doesn't reflect as much, or not at all, it shouldn't. So sometimes uh, some of the characters have weapons, like uh, this one. And what happens then, because uh, it imports as one model, is that if we apply the texture in Blender, it will also apply it on the weapons, and that's something we of course don't want, because we want the total animation with the right weapon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate it and we'll only do this example with the dagger. So easiest way is to select the mesh selection tool, select one mesh, press Ctrl L for every step until everything is selected and press P and we're gonna separate the selection. Don't worry that it shifted position. If you go back into the mode itself, it will be fine. Then we're gonna select the dagger, go to material, make a new material. And there we go. Oh. I'm gonna have a image texture because there's a separate texture for the weapon. Not the prop one, the weapon one. And then we're gonna connect that one. And with the dagger selected, we're gonna remove the default material. That was the original skin. And here you see that now the right dagger is selected. Just as a disclaimer, this is just a method on how to do it. There are ways of different methods on extracting models out of League of Legends, but uh, for me this one worked the best. I of course don't own any of the rights from the models, so don't ask for any uh, Blender files or source files. Uh, you can basically get them yourself.